the United States where the sport is growing rapidly in popularity. Kevin Kane with, is with uh, Navigate, a data-driven consulting firm based in Chicago. He's here to break it all down. Yeah. Good morning to you, Good Kevin. Good morning to you both. Morning. So, you know, Sean said he played soccer. Yeah. As a kid, my son is playing soccer mm -hmm. right now, but so far it seems like somewhere along the line, the kids, the interest kind of trails off yeah. for soccer here in the U.S. Is your data showing something different in terms of the popularity? Yeah, it, it is actually. Um, you know, we're seeing kind of a generational shift. You know, Gen Alpha, Gen Z are, are really into soccer, and, and there's a stat, you know, that. Um, Millennials, soccer was their third most participated sport. But Gen Z, soccer is the number two most participated sport. You know, things are really growing in the soccer world, uh, in, in the World Cup, and you know, as you said, five times the viewership of the Super Bowl today. Uh, it's, it's kind of what's what's bringing it uh, to the to helm. So uh, you know, this is from the the last U.S. game where they lost. Uh, but let's talk about, for example, those Gen Zers and the Gen Alpha, the, the newest generation that we have named. Um, they are now growing up with parents. Gen, Gen Alpha. Uh, yeah. So I'm Gen X, and I think my generation was the first generation to actually play soccer in an organized way. Right. It's an accessible sport because you don't need a lot of money to get into the sport, like hockey, for example, mm -hmm. or, or football. So when you're looking at soccer, you have Gen X and now some older millennials uh, like Gaynor here, <laughs> <laughs> who now have children who are playing the sport and it's like the second generation. So is this why we're seeing kind of this explosive? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a snowball yeah. effect. Yeah. You know, at Navigate, we study a lot of the pathways to fandom. And what your parents are interested in is such a big part of it. Mm -hmm. You know, if you can remember the first time your dad or your family took you to a ball game, took you to sure. a sporting event, yeah. you know, that's a big deal. That, that matters a lot to um, what you're gonna be a fan of. And I think this is the first time we're seeing a generation above us of parents who are interested or, or you know, have watched soccer growing up and there's even stats to prove that. You know, parents now of Gen Alpha or Gen mm -hmm. Z are three and a half times more likely to have grown up watching soccer or currently be soccer fans than their parents above them. So it, it really is this kind of snowball effect that's happening and here. And the, the U.S. beat expectations in yeah. the World Cup. I mean, how important is that in terms of driving the popularity to have soccer superstars here and to have a team performing well on the world stage? Yeah, it's it's huge. Uh, you know, we have players now that play for some of the biggest teams in Europe and, and are superstars, as you yeah. said. Um, and And, you know, after the final whistle today, all eyes are on the United States. Mm -hmm. The World Cup comes here in 2026, and it's going to be the biggest sporting event to ever happen in the United States. Yeah. We'll see. It, it will be. I remember 94. <laughs> it was big. Yeah. But, but as you said, we didn't have, like, professional soccer here at the time, and now we do. Yeah. Okay, all we right. can't let you go without a prediction, Argentina or France. I think I think the world what wants. What does the data say? The world wants Argentina. The betting line is it's 50-50 right now. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. I think it's going to be France, but I want Messi and Argentina. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's. We want Messi here too at WGN. <laughs> oh Makes yeah. Us all look we better. we like Lionel Kevin. Messi thank you so much. You appreciate thank you. it. Good. I appreciate it. Good to see you. Right. Okay. So World Cup final kicking off this morning at nine local time, and of course you can learn much more about Navigate. We have the website right there at the bottom of your screen.